Well, social media, like you, you're a guy who asks questions, who wants to know, uh, and you talked about your mentor uh, in terms of, I guess, your mentor for lacrosse or mentor in life. Uh, who do you go to for that? Um, like the, you, the person's name? Um, his, his name is John Stahl. So he is uh, my boss's boss's boss. Um, I have a really good relationship with him. He was ex-military, um, um, West Point football guy. Um, tells me what I, tells me how I need to hear it. You know, it doesn't beat around the bush. Um, doesn't paint, doesn't sugarcoat anything. This is what you're doing. This is how you're acting. Let's, let's visit this and, and become better. Um, I, I also, Helix and Gene is the company owned by a buddy of mine named Sam Baluch. He is my life coach. So I have a mentor and a life coach. Um, why? Because um, you don't do anything in life alone. I don't care who you are, or what you say there, you, you don't do anything alone. And like I told you guys before, one of the toughest things to do is objectively look in the mirror and, and, and assess yourself. So what my life coach and I work on is, um, staying present, being in the moment, um, providing clarity to, to some problems and issues that, I, that everybody deals with. Um, we go over meditation, we go over yoga, we go over ways to stay even keeled. I have a pretty roller coaster personality at times, like throughout my day, just because my, my job is high pressure, like lacrosse. And ultimately I burn the candle from both ends, like having a professional lacrosse job and a professional um, surgical sales job. So that's, I, I found um, Sam through the chief of surgery at one of my hospitals um, when I was looking for a way to sharpen um, my acts, like from a mental, um, emotional standpoint, uh, something that I can't go running or I can't lift weights. So you, I, I think everybody would benefit from having a mentor, um, or a life coach or, or, um, psychologist, like all that stuff is fantastic. It, it, it helps all the way across the board. So did yeah. you naturally, obviously your boss's boss, uh, you met him through work. Did he become your mentor? Did you ask him? And yeah, I, so I asked him. Um, I asked him, I said, will you mentor me? Um, at our company, we have a great culture. Um, culture in the aspect that everybody has a mentor and they kind of pick it on their own or their boss picks it for them. But I wanted this guy. Um, he's been with the company for 15 years. He's a military guy, he's disciplined. Um, his son plays at Deerfield. He's going to Richmond, Tommy. Um, so he's involved in the lacrosse world. And um, I want his job eventually. So how do I get that? You know, how do I emulate somebody whom I want to be eventually? I surround myself with them. I think that goes back to that point that I was talking about before when I was a little kid. Yeah. Um, you want to surround yourself with like-minded people and like-minded and like-minded individuals. Well, I want to do what he does eventually. So who's better to learn from than the person that's in that role? Um, so that's how I saw it. And then I just was diligent in paying attention to the guy and the man and the, the husband, the, the father um, that he is to his wife and his, and his kids and somebody that I, I aspire to be in a way. So that's how I picked that him as my mentor. Yeah, that's awesome. How much, uh, how much do you think it could have helped you out? Like, or why didn't you have any type of like, or did you, I guess it's kind of a question. Did you hit like going through college, high school, yeah. So before you met this guy, was there anyone in your life like that that you kind of leaned on, or do you think that was something that was missing and now you can kind of see it, or how like, um, you know, like say for like younger kids that maybe like kind of don't have that and aren't really thinking about looking for it, or what do you think there? So yeah, this is a good question. When I was in ninth grade, um, so I've always kind of looked. I'm the oldest of three, uh, of four, but I have three little sisters, so I'm the oldest. So naturally, I just like, I, you have your dad, but like, how many people actually listen to their dad all the time? You know what I mean? So like, I always, I always had like this drive to find somebody um, older than me to emulate. So when I was in ninth grade, it was, and Mike Chan and Chuck was a senior. Um, I wanted to be like Channy in every way, dude. I'm telling you, like the way I wore my helmet, like he like had his jersey over to the side on one side of his body. I was like, I got to do that. Like... I got to shoot the way this guy shoots. So when I was in ninth grade, it was kind of like him, but I never asked. Um, when I got to college, Jake Bernhardt was the big one. 
Um, he was a senior when I was a freshman and I was like, okay, I want to, I, this guy, he wins every race uh, or every conditioning run. Um, he's in really good shape. He leads well. So him, I sort of just would bug all the time. And he'd be like, you know, I was a freshman at the time he was a senior, but I would just like, he was my mentor without him even knowing to this day, probably. Um, but as I got older, I realized that I needed it and that I was like, okay, I need like an official, like you're my mentor. I'm going to check in with you every week, every couple weeks, every month, um, on my growth, on my development. And, um, I owned it as I got older. When I was younger, it was just a natural thing because I was the big brother to the little sisters. So I didn't have somebody. It was just a natural thing. Like, okay, like I went looking for it without realizing. And now I'm happy you asked me the question because I think back upon it and that's, that's what happened. Are you glad it happened that way? Or do you wish you sort of had that conversation with Channy at the time or Jake to make it more of like, Hey, like I look up to you. I want to, learn from you. Yeah, I, I wish that um I wish that I asked them. Yeah. Like I wish I, I kind of went up to him and I was like, can you just take me under your wing? But instead, like I would you remember the you know the old team house weight room that's got all those uh both of you all of those racks. Well like I put my rack right behind Jake's and I just did everything that he did. And yeah. then I just like kind of was like a little spy. Um and then but I, I do wish that I was like yo like can you just would you be my mentor? Like, it, and like, we had that mentor mentee thing when we were in college. Sure. But like, I wish we, I wish I took that more seriously because like Tills did a good job at building a system um, with that there. But like, I wish that like, I took it a little more seriously at, at when I think back upon it. And I, I wish I just asked Jake, like, Hey man, just take me under your wing. I want to do everything you do. Anyways. Um, I had him stringing my sticks. Like, so like, Naturally, he was doing it, but I never asked, and I wish that he did. That's good. Definitely good for kids to know. Yeah. Don't be um, – the kids that are that, – don't be, don't be scared to ask. You know, you can – like, um, like, just get out there, and, and if you think it can make you better, don't be nervous. Don't be scared. Nobody if, – if somebody rea reacts negatively for you asking them to take you under their wing, you didn't want that person in your life anyways. So like, don't be scared, just ask. Yeah, I mean, literally everyone I feel like has, it's like, we say the whole thing, like by the mercy of my teachers or whatever, where it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. a collection of the people above you that you're learning from, like 